Hey everybody, Tony from Shooting Star SVG back and today I am going to go through how to create a basic spider in Affinity Designer. So if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. Um, the other day I posted in the Facebook group what all of y'all would like to see um, here on the YouTube channel and there was a lot of different requests that I've been uh, tackling. However, there was one that really stood out to me for Affinity Designer. Uh, this individual was creating a spider, a very basic spider, and was struggling. The uh, piece parts were going all over uh, Cricut Design Space when they were trying to test the file out and there was just uh, some frustration there. So I said, fret not, we'll get this sorted. Um, I looked at her file um, through a screenshot and I definitely can understand where that struggle is coming from. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna go walk through a very basic process on how to do this and so that you can take some tips out of here when you're designing some more basic designs in Affinity Designer utilizing shapes in the pin tool. Uh, keep in mind for this, I'm not going to be paying much attention to detail as far as, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, symmetry. <laughs> Holy smokes. Symmetry and um, all that jazz. So I'm just going to create something really quick and sloppy so that way you guys can get the idea and we'll go from there. So with that being said, I'm going to head over to my computer screen and we'll get going. Um, all right, I do have Affinity Designer open. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start off with an ellipse. I'm going to change my fill to a black fill. And I'm just going to go to, I'm going to make sure that this is off. And, okay. I'm going to go ahead and draw that. It's not going to be anything perfect, like I said before. And then I'm just going to kind of move it to where I see fit. So the next thing I'm going to do is get the pen tool situated. You want to make sure that your mode is set to line mode if this is the style that you're doing and get that stroke on to somewhat of a decent thickness. Whoops, I didn't want to do that because I don't want that applied to my ellipse. I will change that when I go through. So I have the ellipse selected. I'm um, and when you do that, you have this nice little yellow outline around it where you can anchor your point to the board. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and just, that is my line coming down for the spider web. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and draw these legs. And I'm not going to do anything super crazy. I'm just going to create a set of four legs. and kind of go from there. Okay, now that I have those, I'm just going to select them all. I'm going to group them. I hit Control G to accomplish that. I'm sorry, I'm going to duplicate the selection, which you can also do by hitting Control J. And then I'm going to go to Layer, Transform, and Flip Horizontal. And I'm going to move this over here, like so. Again, not perfect. And then I am going to ungroup and ungroup. Okay. So if I was to save this and send this right now to Silhouette Studio or Cricut Design Space, I'm not going to get what I'm seeing in this image, okay? And the reason why, and you'll see this in just a minute, is that these legs that I've created, these horrible looking legs, by the way, are lines. They are lines. So they are literally just going to cut out in the vinyl with a little, little slice. That's it. They're not going to cut around the shape that you're seeing because you've applied a stroke to the legs to get the kind of look and feel that you want to get. So to show you what that looks like, I'm going to go ahead and export this as an SVG. All right. Click on export. And I'm just going to spider test 
and I'm going to go ahead and open this up in Silhouette Studio. And you can see here that it looks like the image we have, right? Okay. But when I click on send, and I'm going to have to check my settings here because it looks like it's not showing this whole. When I click on send, and you can see a little bit of that there. Whoops, nothing is grouped. Oh my, I'm struggling. All right, there we go. You can see when I expand this out, the stroke is completely gone, okay? And then when I click on send, you're gonna see that these are just lines. And then also, you know, alternately, since I didn't draw these lines off of the edge of the spotter, um, that's just gonna cut right in, okay? So. Here's where the magic happens with this, and fret knot is really simple and quick thing to do, um, and probably very beneficial if you're designing on the computer and want to utilize the line tool, because um, instead of making just straight lines, there's some really good functions that you can do, but I'll get into those at a later video. All right, back to affinity. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to select this first line here. What you're going to do is you're going to go to layer, and you're going to click on expand stroke. Now you've expanded your stroke, you're going to have a complete shape there. We're going to do the same thing for all these little legs. I'm going to select all of them. I'm going to unselect the ellipse. I'm going to click on layer and I'm going to click on expand stroke. And then there you see all of these are, are, are also full shapes. So the next piece of this to get your spider to where you want it to be is to select everything on your board, click on layer and cl click on create compound path and we're done. And we'll drag this down because our line is right there, but we're finished. So now, I can click on File, Export, and export this as an SVG, and click on Spider Final. And then, when we go to open this up, okay, again, I forgot to change my document settings to get this to read in silhouette, so I apologize. Um, now, when we do this, and I expand it, everything looks great, and then when I click on Send, Da, 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 da. everything can be cut out in one whole piece. So all that we had to do there, after you create your line and apply your stroke to whatever thickness you so may want for your design, I'm fumbling with my words today, I'm sorry. Expand your stroke and then create a compound path, okay? Expand your stroke and then create a compound path and you will be able to achieve uh, whatever you're trying to achieve in Affinity Designer. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for you guys. If you have any questions, drop a comment below in the comments box or head on over to the Facebook book, the Facebook group where we're creating a community of like-minded individuals who would also like to expand their design skills and grow their semi-passive income. If you got something out of this video, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep you motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. With that being said, I will catch you all in the next video. Have a great one.